Located near the city of Liverpool, the Heritage Market has been held in the Stanley Dock every Sunday for almost 30 years. But this site is much more than just a market. The Heritage Market is an event that's held every Sunday between the hours of 9 and 4. We have traders that come from all over the country to sell the wares and the goods down here. The Heritage Market has been established for 29 years at Stanley Dock and it's part of the community. And it does, it attracts a lot of visitors from all over the UK as well to come and buy the goods. We used to manufacture fire surrounds at one time. The industry just come to a halt, so we decided to go into fancy goods. I want to eventually start off my own photographic uh, business. I thought it was the ideal place to, to put our words up for the cut passing trade that you get at the markets. We do home portraiture. Uh, we have a studio here at the Hammonds, which is set at the back of us. We do weddings. A lot of it stems from the business we take from the market with people seeing what we advertise. I originally got started on a car booth sale with videos and it just went from there really. They decided to go self-employed in it and here I am. <laughs> the site itself in total is 36 acres. The tobacco warehouse has got 14 floors, the salt warehouse has got 8 floors, the north warehouse has got 4 floors, then we've got an actual dock here of water. So the site is completely unique. It's the world's biggest brick building. It was constructed of 27 million bricks, 30,000 window panes, 30 tonnes of steel. So it's very, very unique. In addition to being used for a weekly Sunday market, the Stanley Dock has served another purpose that may be of interest to film fans. What an industrious empire. The Stanley Dock's been used for so many film productions over the years. Sherlock Holmes. Casualty. Captain America. 51 States. No way, boy, the John Lennon film. I've nicked the wrong stuff here. Oh, hang on. Oh, shit. Cool, get off chance to see a couple of the stars walking past, which is great. Uh, try and get a few sneaky pictures if you can. But yeah, we've seen a few. Yeah, there's just been so many. The list is endless. Captain America, they done that as well. We were talking to the stars over my other store when they were doing all around the area. It's good not just for the heritage market, it's good for the whole of Liverpool. It's good for the city's economy. After being used for years, for a market and a film location, what does the future hold? The Stanley Dock Asia will be developed one day. Won't be for a long time. You're probably looking at another 10 years before you see a brick move. But it will be redeveloped and more apartments. That's everywhere else in the country, which I think is ridiculous. I mean, you've got one of the most beautiful, unique sites ever and they're just going to ruin it by turning into apartments. I don't think it would be the same if it moved somewhere else. It doesn't matter if it moved to a nice location. It's just the name of the heritage market, I think, brings people down, Stanley Dock. The Liverpool City Council should promote it more because of the age of the building. I, I think they should entice more tourists to it. Every oh, other train. building in Liverpool, the Albert Dock, every other dock is mentioned apart from the Stanley Dock market, which it should have some more pub publicity because it is the oldest building in Liverpool. I do admit it, heritage is the heritage Stanley Dock market. It's something different, you get what I mean.